G'day, it's Pete here and we're back again for another weekly free. So to get in, what you want to do is go up to Solitaire, then weekly free instant tournament. Uh, let's see what we can do. Last week I said, if you want to help me out, post comments. And I got heaps of comments. So thank you everyone uh, who did that. Um, interesting bidding decision. Uh, board number one, we've got 14 high card points and one diamond opening for my partner, four clubs. Uh, we're a bit short of room, so it just looks like we want to bid four hearts and hope that's a playable spot. It's a more than playable spot. We've got six on. Partners got a hand that probably wanted to bid uh, slam in hearts. And hopefully this gets roughed. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, oh. I think I claimed too early there. I got the beer card. I, I've got a fair bit of work to do. So I draw two rounds of hearts. And then you go like diamond, diamond, diamond rough, heart over, diamond rough, heart over. Yes, I could have done it. Mr. Beer card, uh, number one. Fortunate. Uh, I was too busy complaining that we would missed a slam there. Um, but yeah, every round sort of in four hearts doing the same. Nice 5-5 uh, five, five, uh, hand. So we'll start with the spade and just bid two hearts. And here we're just minimal. So we're just going to leave it there. But if we had an invitational hand, you could follow up with bidding three hearts. Uh, but uh, not for us. Okay, partner's got six points with a very nice fit. Um, queen ten of hearts is awesome. Queen ten third spades good. Uh, we want to get hearts set up. They will start forcing us. We're going to lose a club and two diamonds to begin with. Um, so they led the jack, was it? Okay. Uh, I want to see if they put the nine on. Okay, so that's now Jack Doubleton. Um, because otherwise East would just put on the king just in case. So, um, unless the ten went, did I have the ten? Didn't say. Um, but I think our clubs are two, one, five, five, and uh, we'll start drawing some trumps. I am a little bit wary of running out of trumps here, especially in a bad split. Um, and. Let's say I draw another trump and just play the queen of hearts. Then when they make me rough, the heart suit's blocked. So I'm actually going to leave one trump out here so that I've got an entry uh, back with spades to my hand. Uh, because if I drew that trump and then let's just say they played three rounds of diamonds or something, then I'd need to hope that hearts are actually dividing. Uh, here they'll get the uh, final two. So making nine might be okay. Hearts were 3-3, three, three, but we still got 71%. Interesting. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, James Nader before said unforgivable for missing a beer card. How's everyone doing? Thanks for joining me. Uh, triple four, one, what do we have? 17. Okay. So I could have potentially opened a no Trump, but I only usually typically do that if I've got a single to Nonna. Uh, I like opening just, um, one diamond most of the times, but this is awkward. I'm just going to show an unbalanced hand that sort of looks like I got a five, four. Partner's now shown game forcing values. I could bid three hearts here and show a triple four one. Um, we'll do that. And partner is not interested. We haven't found a fit anywhere. Um, part, this feels a bit misfitty. So I think I'm just going to leave it there. I could have, with 17 points, I could have opened a diamond and bid two hearts. Definitely should have considered it longer. Um, but, uh, yeah, here we are in three now. 
Okay, so partner's got 15 opposite my 17. So I could see some people getting to slam on this, but slam just looks pretty miserable. Um, so you don't have a fit anywhere. And in no trumps, we've got four diamonds, two hearts, three spades and a club on the lead. So three, two, four, one is 10, I think. Uh, we can build tricks in clubs, hearts, and spades. Uh, the leader of seven of spades is a bit hard to gauge. Uh, it could be from 10, 8, 7, or top of, um, top of a double turn. Could be a singleton. Carlo said, how about clubs and reversing? Uh, so I would never... So one thing about reversing is the auctions are kind of awkward, um... Anyway, so I don't like to try and put myself in positions where I reverse, even if I've got enough points. Like the reason that there's a points cap on reversing is that like you really can't handle it if you're minimum. If you've got extra points, maybe you can do it, but the auctions aren't great. So I don't actively look to reverse. Um, so I usually typically will just open a diamond because it leaves me flexibility just to bid two clubs. So if I was going to open a club, um, I would always be reversing into hearts just because it's a major uh, rather than my diamonds, but my diamonds are just so much better. Um, so I think opening a diamond and bidding two hearts is fine just because you've got the major and you want to try and bid it. But even if you do reverse, it's not like the option is particularly easy to untangle. Um, partner's got a game forcing hand. You'd be completely fine after that. But I could see some people getting themselves to six diamonds or something if like North thought they had um, a reverse with five diamonds and four hearts. Um, anyway, we want to build extra tricks. Where do we want to get them from? Hearts looks pretty promising. I uh, could go ace of hearts, heart. Starts to kill my communication to the north hand, but I think that's reasonable. We're missing queen, ten, nine of hearts. Okay. So that looks like hearts are 2-2. Two, two. Um, so we're up to three hearts, three spades, four diamonds and a club is 11. So maybe I can try and build an extra trick. I don't have entries to build the long spade anymore, but we'll see if the club is on side. So we now have the rest of the tricks. So it looks like people in slam might make because of like queen of spades on side, hearts three, three with the queen on side, king of clubs was where it was. So a couple of people got to slam, but boy, did that look like a miserable spot to be. Like lots of people did slam, but I uh, went down. I'm not even sure. Like it looks like everything uh, works. <laughs> um, so I'm kind of surprised that people are going down here. Yeah, so I'm not a big fan of a club and then reversing into diamonds. I don't see the point of that. One diamond and then three clubs. This is like definitely unbalanced game forcing strength. You're not strong enough for that. Uh, one club, then two, no. 18, 19 balanced. Um, if you're going to show this as balanced, you only got 17, so just open it, no trump. Um, yeah. What else were people doing? I haven't seen anyone open a diamond and then rebid two hearts here. Or even a club and two hearts for that matter. Um, but yeah. Carly said, when you're done, I'll tell you where North put, put me. Uh, six hearts, maybe? Is that somewhere where people ended up? She had one club past uh, a club of spade, two diamonds, two no, six no. Six, no. So did you make it? <laughs> is the key, the real kicker. It looks like you should, so yeah. Anyway, uh, here we have uh, 15. And it's gone a diamond past a heart. So I could consider bidding a no trump here. Uh, this is something I'll do a lot more if my opponents are not vulnerable and maybe opening light and responding a bit light. Here the robots are conservative. They're not really going to be doing that. So they actually have their values. If I was more worried and they're vulnerable. Um, 
I could consider making a takeout double, but this hand just feels defensive. I want to pass. I usually have it be a touch stronger, like 16, 18 sort of stuff that I would be bidding a no trump in uh, the sandwich position where the opponents have both bid. Uh, but we'll just pass there. And we'll uh, just defend a no trump, take the low road. Okay, club. So uh, 14 high card points and 15 in my hand is 19. 20. No, it's not. 29, not 19. So there's 11 points missing. East bit of heart, so they've got at least six. So uh, my partner's got at most five points. Uh, I can't see the king of spades. I can't see the ace of hearts. I don't think all the queen of clubs. They're the points I'm missing. I don't think East has all of them. So my partner's got uh, one of those cards. Uh, I'm just going to persist with clubs here. Uh, I should have covered, I think. Turns out they kind of had a guess there, but just played for the spade to drop. I was thinking if my partner had, because uh, they led the eight, if my partner had like king fourth and it went eight, ten, jack, um, the, me covering would be better. Claire is not playing that. That's fine. All right. Um... Okay, so Declare's got King, Queen of Spades and the Queen of Clubs, so I think my partner's got the top heart. Um, so, win that, we could potentially take four heart tricks, although I don't need my partner to have Ace, Ten, Nine of Hearts. I think it's best just to set up my club and let them have their spade and king of diamonds, and then we'll get the uh, remainder. Looks like my partner did have really good hearts there. So I think shifting to the hearts was the winning strategy. Yeah, we still got 71% there. So we could have got four hearts and the two. Ah, so it breaks even, even when my partner's got as good a hearts as they do here with uh, ace, 10, nine, fourth, um, where I can sacrifice my jack and still get four heart tricks. But uh, yeah. So some people bid a no trump here. And as you can see, it just looks pretty miserable trying to play it. So better to steer clear of that one. But we've got 66%. We've got uh, a hat-trick of 71.4%. Anyway, uh, this time I have a balance 15 count. I will bid a no trump and defend again. So three hearts here. I've got a bit of distribution. My partner's not going to show up with much. I could consider a heart lead. It could consider a spade. Um, I was instinctively going for the king of clubs, but no real reason. I think any of the others could be fine. Okay. So dummy came down with seven points and I had 15. So that's uh, uh, 22. 18 points missing. My partner can have six. My partner's got a singleton heart. Okay, that's not a useful card for my partner to have. I don't really want to be on lead too much. I'm just going to cash the queen of clubs, exit a spade, and just um, see if we get the king of diamonds at the end. Okay, I'm not even going to exit a spade. They, they even took that small little luxury from me. Um, so... Yeah, the diamonds, they might have a guess about the queen of spades or something. So I didn't want to open up spades at this point. So. They have a guess in diamonds or anything? No, they've just got their 10 tricks. Okay. So my one no trump bid kept them out of their game. 
78%. So what uh, other people bidding to clubs would be like another reasonable choice. And then they've just bid four hearts. And you feel pretty hard done by that. They uh, bid and make a game when, yeah, here my strong no trump overcall where I was trying to be constructive, just talk them out of bidding their cold uh, four hearts. Um, okay, you take those. Okay, we're moving on to board number six. And here we've got 10, 15, 18. So a club and then usually two no, but partners shown a club fit. Um, so I'll just bid three no. Some people have different ways of raising and like might have a way to say, hey, I wanted to support your clubs, but I don't actually want you to bid three no if you've got um, 18, 19 balanced. Um, the robots don't have that and so be it. I'm just bidding game. Uh, we've got three spades, a heart and three clubs. If the clubs come in, we've got five clubs, three spades and a heart. Uh, I really want to see, uh, I want to cash with the ace of clubs first. If clubs are four nil, I can only pick it up if West has four to the jack 10 because of my nine, eight, seven, you need to be able to double finesse and keep the, uh, two touching honors together. Um, Spades are the main thing that I want to keep an eye out on. Um, I could duck here. They might just switch potentially. They do. And they set up my diamond. Okay. And if clubs break, we are all good. We got the rest. Uh, pretty routine, seventy-five percent. But uh, even if you won, won the heart, you'd get five clubs, four spades, and a heart. So you'd get ten tricks because it comes down anyway. Some people managed eleven. I guess they won. Uh, they, they opened one no trump, and they get diamond, diamond. Interesting. Okay, well, we're tracking pretty well so far. Moving on to board number seven, beautiful five, five. What do we have? Uh, 15 high card points, but Singleton King's not, not the best. Four club splinter, interesting. Okay, so let's say my partner's got ace of hearts, ace of diamonds, singleton club. We could probably make slam off opposite that. Um, my partner's got a fifth trump, we're probably okay. Hmm. I don't really want to commit to slam. I don't want to even commit to bidding four no. It feels like there'll be a fair bit of work, but I want to make a cubid, but the robots only do first round controls showing um, aces, um, not first or second round control. I'll just try something. I'll just put in a fake Qbid, say, hey, I'm interested. See if they want a, a Qbid. I got the Ace of Hearts. I'll say so, yeah, just signing off, but partner can still key card if they want to. They do. And we've got uh, two with the Queen. All right, six. So like, I only wanted to go if partner was really good. And seeing as I was lying already, I figured why not uh, keep lying. Okay. Diamond lead's kind of annoying. I think I'd have much better play on heart lead, but we have to get rid of the diamond. So we're gonna win this, go back up with the ace of heart. And now's the time for clubs. So, okay, that's good news. Trump there, and I need clubs for three. Uh, so let's draw another Trump. And uh, we got the rest. So rough in here, draw the final Trump. And we're all good. Hmm. 
96%. So I had pretty much what I said. Uh, the two aces, singleton club. As you can see, this one was a bit pushy. I was thinking partner might just sign off uh, with this. Like they, oh, they, they'll bid four hearts Q bid. But then um, after that, they when I sign off, they might have stopped. But it was reasonable for them to push on. And um, here we needed a, a touch of luck. One of the things here of why I chose four diamonds, it, rather than even bidding four hearts, which is much closer to what I've actually got, was I actually just wanted to discourage a diamond lead. Um, so like if partner's gonna, I wanted to open up the opportunity for slam, but I wanted to discourage a diamond lead. So I figured I'd just try that and then see what partner wanted. And they were keen. So a little bit fortunate there, needed a touch of luck. Um, but yeah. All right, 73.5% final board, one heart, pass, pass, pretty routine takeout double. Two hearts, three hearts, forcing. Let's show my spades. Did I have to bid four spades? No. So, like, I don't know why I partner bid three hearts here. Like that's a fine description of the hand, 11 to 16 points. But what do they expect me to do? Like, don't they just want to be bidding two no trumps over two hearts? If we're going to make anything, it's going to be three no trumps. And I don't know where they want me to bid and I'm not going to come up with a heart stopper. So I think that's three heart bids. Pretty rubbish. Uh, anyway, we've got a bunch of work to do. Got a couple of spade losers, a heart loser, a club loser, and two diamonds. I do have the beer card. I, it's it's a, a stretch to even be considering it, but seeing as I missed it on the first one, I better pay attention that I got that. Um, all right, so and we bid one heart, two hearts. Uh, so I've got 14, dummy's got... 11, 25. East doesn't really have much. So I think West has the king of spades. Uh, especially saying East might have the ace of clubs given this lead. Anyway, I'm going to start with a spade towards the jack. Leave a little bit of flexibility about where I'm going to be. Okay, so clubs are three, three. So I've got six spades, six hearts, three clubs. Um, let's, why did I play the ace of spades? Um, okay, so they're a uh, six, three, two, two. Uh, my, the diamonds might be queen, jack, doubleton. Uh, it would have been so much better if I just played like a spade to the jack and didn't block up this suit. Yeah, it's not queen jack doubleton. So east has like jack eight fourth diamond. Uh, I guess I can just ditch a diamond and let's double finesse the hearts. So in there, and uh, we got the rest. 92%, solid finish. So finished with 75.9%. So good weekly free tournament there. So hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, thanks all for watching and we'll see you next time.